Hello and welcome to another Steam Next Fest demo. This time we're taking a look at Builder Simulator, as you can see here. No surprises there. Do I have any experience as a builder? Not really. I built my own deck, entrance to the house sort of thing. I was a labourer on a building site. So to answer my own question, that'll be a no, not really. Building a deck doesn't count, does it? No. But anyway, we're going to take a quick look at this. And uh, the only thing available in the demo, as with most demos, is the tutorial. The planner is there. And uh, sound fun. we're going to go through a few of these. And uh, then I'll show you what uh, I was up to in the planner, ready for the release of uh, this game. Simulator game. Welcome to the Builder Factory! Thank you! You're probably wondering why you're in this place! It's just because the game designer wanted the level to be small! My name is Bill Dern, and today Hi, Bill. I'm going to be your worst nightmare! <laughs> Guide through the game mechanics! Let's start with the basics! Follow me! You know what to press, don't you? Yeah, these. WASD. There we go. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but uh, I played Borderlands. And uh, is this a long lost relative of a certain Borderlands character? I don't know. He gives me those. Is it Claptrap? Was that Wanna his name? Not really. Wait, the tool wheel is available under the scroll or under the left bumper on the gamepad. Try it now. As with Claptrap, okay in small doses, shall we say. I mean, he's adorable. He's got his single wheel. I do wish to turn him into a uh, wheelbarrow at times. But uh, yeah, there we go. It's kind of nice, isn't it, for the tutorial? It looks lovely. I don't know what's going on over there. I never looked over there before. What else have we got? Are we in like a... Are we actually in the Borderlands universe? That'll be something. But anyway, yes, what are we supposed to be doing? Uh, the Q key, there we go. always have a task list available regardless of the game mode. As soon as you move the controller, the game swaps the controls to it. This way you'll never get lost. Fantastic! Thank you, Cl Bill. My maker always said that everything needs a solid base. Let's start with foundation. Select a shovel from the tool wheel and dig the area for foundations. Shovel. Got it. Brilliant, that works. <laughs> I mean... It's the, uh... Why am I not digging? There we go. It's the classic simulator, isn't it? I feel like these would be best served in VR, but... VR isn't for everybody, is it? So it's, it's nice to be able to still use keyboard and mouse or controller. Whatever your uh, favourite control method is taking our time. I do feel like uh, I'm back in ooh, train station renovation. Right. There we go. As a real builder, you have to use the store to get the materials you need to build. Press tab or select on gamepad to open the store. Good job. Thank you. Choose the first store available. Oh, I just noticed now this. On the left, <laughs> Got my logo. Available categories according to the stage of construction. You can change the number of items you want to buy to one, ten, or one hundred. Buy one hundred formworks and reinforcements. Both. Okay. So times one hundred. One, Great two. Job. Thanks, you Bill. Know that by holding down the left mouse button or the right trigger on the gamepad, you can insert them in the blink of an eye. Each stage of construction shows holograms to help you visually indicate which stage you are currently at. You know the joke about how one person works and the rest just watch? No. Nope. You just became part of it. Did I? Well, I mean, I am doing the work and hopefully some of you are watching. So yes, uh, I, I wouldn't say that was a joke. Bill? More of a description of what's happening. <laughs> anyway, 
What are we doing? We need to put in the form works. Is that hey, that hey, one? Hey, I'm getting rusty. Wow. I'm just taking my time. So, hold down the uh, left mouse button then, is it? Let's go. How quickly can we do this? I, I'm worried I'm going to miss some. And then we'll have to backtrack. This is nice, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sure it takes a little bit longer than this in real life. In fact, I'm confident it does. Oh, miss one. Around there. And Great. final. Next stop is reinforcement. Got him. Same principle as with formworks. Can we not just click or hold? Yeah. Can we just not have a shortcut to put them all in at once? <laughs> I mean, that would kind of defeat the object, wouldn't it? Oh, oh I got a bit squirrely there, didn't I? It's the corners that get me every time. Did I miss any? I felt like I missed one. I mean, in reality, it's not taking too long, is it? Good job. Thank you. Now it's time for the creme de la creme. Ooh. Pouring the foundations. Go to the wheelbarrow and pour concrete over the foundations. Can do. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Builders waiting just for you. Please be quiet, Bill. Thank you. So, do we just grab this then? Grab. Backing up. Yep. 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 No. That was some serious uh, driving skills. How do we pour? Like that. Left mouse button. Gotcha. So, same principle, I guess. Ah, there we go. It's all going. I missed some. I guess we can get the other bits when we go around. You've got to take your time with this one. Fortunately, this is a wheelbarrow that carries infinite amounts of... Uh, what did he say it was? Concrete. Concrete. Kind of handy. I mean, wouldn't that be extraordinarily heavy? <laughs> I, I, oh, I, I, I backed up into the wall. This is going to be awkward. No, we can tip it. Logistics. Missed a bit. I don't want to miss a bit right round there. We've got to go miles then, haven't we? Well, we're doing all right. Maybe it's where the mouse cursor is. There we go. That's it for this part. Thank you. I'll see you at the concrete mixer in a bit. All right. I want to put that down. Congratulations for following instructions. <laughs> Next tutorial. Ah, Bill's here. Thanks, Bill. You're probably wondering, how come you had concrete in your wheelbarrow in the previous level? I wasn't. The game designers didn't want the stage to be too long. Excellent. Let's find out how to make it. Let's go, then. Choo-choo! Me first. Oh, he's faster than I am. Shift. Oh, I could have sprinted. Two types of mixes. Okay. Mortar and concrete. Mortar is needed to join the blocks. Concrete, on the other hand, is used for foundations. Got it. Let's start by turning on the concrete mixer. Can do. You will lose one dollar for each second you leave the concrete mixer on. I... So make it quick and effective. But you're going to talk, aren't you, while this is running? All the ingredients you need can be found around the concrete mixer. Talk faster. Above the concrete mixer, there are the ingredients you need to create a mortar. Excellent. Talk faster. Start with the sand. Take your shovel and put some... Okay, shovel. Got it. Dig. In. Dig. In. Dig. It's costing money. Get in there. I wonder what it's powered by. I guess, uh, electric? Are you plugged in, or is it some sort of gas-powered <laughs> mixer? Great. Thank you. Now it's time for cement. Add some from the bags on the ground. Got it. Break open. Drop. Pick up. No. Oh, okay. You pour it in. Do you just pour it in? Got it. Click faster. Look how much money we're wasting. Lovely. All you need now is a bucket of water that you can find in your tool wheel. Oh, that's in the tool wheel. I was going to say, I can't see the water. Got it. Pull that in. Oh, that was a bit laggy. Gotcha. Hands. 
Is that good, Bill? Are we done? That was tough. Excellent. It was not. That would be great. And mixer cheaper. And okay. Three buttons here. Got it. Concrete, mortar, and auto switch. Yes. Choose the mix you want to create. This time it's going to be concrete. Concrete. And click the auto switch to make it automatically. Auto. Its cost will be a bit more, but it's way faster. Yeah, would it be a Great bit more, technically? Responsibility, such as budget. I don't know whether it would be more expensive I'll though. Your quality of life even more. Especially if you're slow. You don't have to drive around with a wheelbarrow all the time. Open the tool wheel and choose the wheelbarrow. Oh, okay. The game will teleport the wheelbarrow under the mixer at no additional cost. Boom. <laughs> nice. How cool is that? It's actually now really that you cool. Have everything you need, you can pour the concrete from the mixer into okay. the wheelbarrow. Get in there. Oh, okay. D. Amazing, right? Brilliant. We're I like it. Pour the foundation again because there's no point. I'll tip that but back we'll up. See each other in the next stage very soon. Leave. Oh, no, we're done. <laughs> I, was, I was getting ready, but he said we're not going to do it. No, so we're doing that in the next stage. We've already made the concrete. I've lost my mouse. Um, help. Because I'm interacting with the the mixer it stole my mouse button um help oh, okay yeah now i've completely lost the mouse oh there's a nice bug where is my mouse i'm gonna have to quit and come back guys got the mouse back let's go on to the next one shall we and uh, i'm gonna have to be careful aren't i with uh, what we're doing we have a concrete screen to dig i have a name Was that an Easter egg? Oh, I've got feet. Cool. Every builder needs a proper concrete screed. Let's continue with what we've prepared at the first stage. Um. Get your shovel and dig the ground. Oh, okay. I thought we were pouring the concrete. I guess that's coming up. Right, shovel. We've got to dig the ground first, haven't we? Shovel. Dig. Right, it does it in big blocks. Thank goodness for that. Uh, looks like, yeah, the game's kind of working it out, isn't it? There we go. I love how it's perfectly flat underneath. This would save no end of time in real life, wouldn't it? Great. There we go. Next up, you need a sand. You can do this in two ways. Pardon, Bill? Either by the shovel or wheelbarrow you just said a sand you need a sand then place it in the floor. that's great <laughs> you need a sand is that right or is it some sand oh this is nice. going this is going to take a while isn't it second way is to pour sand from a wheelbarrow yes please Try putting some sand in the wheelbarrow great now, finish sand bedding by pouring the sand over the concrete screen. Can we uh, move this closer? That will be better, wouldn't it? Right, let's get our, our shovel. Fill this with sand. There we go, 50%. Is that going up 25% per shovel? Can I squeeze more in? No. <laughs> well, I mean, it, it could be it stays at 100%, which would be kind of nice. Please stay at 100%. No, you don't. But uh, have I dug my wheelbarrow into the sand? There we go. We've got it. We've got it. Just hold, hold, and steer. There we go. That fills up pretty nippy, doesn't it? Good job. Oh, get that now off there. Buy some <laughs> the steering. Every house you build needs reinforcement to make concrete more durable. Have you tried this yet, guys? Reinforcements. Um, the wheelbarrow steering takes a little bit of getting used to. Right, store, tab. Uh, poured out, we need how many? 30? Uh, 30, right. One, two, three. Place them on the foil. Okay, it never actually tells you how to get out the store. It's tab again. 
when I first looked at this to make sure it all worked, I uh, I was flummoxed by that. Could be my age. Who knows? Oh, you can't hold mouse button with these, Bill. Come on. Now I've got a... You're wasting mouse clicks, which is... is, is uh, it's costing me money, because that means the mouse will die slightly sooner. Is that how that works? They must have a... A finite number of clicks, right? And a mouse now micro switch. Right. You already have it waiting in the wheelbarrow. Oh, okay, there it is. There cheating it is. is fun sometimes, huh? Yeah, it is. Well, we... Pour it over. Bill, it wasn't cheating. We technically spent an entire tutorial where at the end... Oh, wrong way. Where at the end you stole my mouse cursor. Which country has the best construction? Ukraine! Get it? <laughs> Ooh. I do get it. It's a, it's a crane. Let's uh, fill that. There we go. It was scarier in previous demo, wasn't it? In previous you demo. It properly, but no one noticed. I don't even. Now, every building I didn't see it. Insulation. Fun fact. You should do it both in the walls and in the foundations. Okay, that's First, buy advisable. 30 installations, in the shop. 30 installations. Insulations, even. If we were real friends, I'd have really concrete advice for you. Oh, dear. How many? 30? Now place the insulation over. All right. Doing it. Uh, can I hold? Nope. It's fine. Don't need to hold it. We've got this. I'll just click and move. Click and move. All in one fluid motion. At least we didn't have to wait for that one to fill Perfect. up. We're nearly done. Okay. Use a wheelbarrow and pour out the final concrete layer. Okay. Is this how foundations are done? I don't know. Want to hear a construction joke? No. Wait. I'm still working on it. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, we've we've gone up in the world. Look at that. We're up in the air now. Can I push that up? There we go. Oh, this does go up in stages. So we're going to make sure we get it fully to the top and it's stopped flashing. There we go. Lovely. Well, now I know, don't I? And we won't uh, walk away from a half-finished job. That's it! Thank you. Now you're done with a concrete screen loop. It'll get a lot from now on promise simulators must reflect reality but we have prepared a lot of interesting solutions for you that will speed up your work considerably it's good to hear see you later excavator okay i've got my mouse cursor it's got better already next tutorial now what bill wake up after a while crocodile no let's go it's time for the low Excellent. The exterior Wait, walls. To the Batmobile uh, uh, training room. I'll take you through it on the way. Go. There are certain types of walls. In our game, there are three types of walls. Bearing, partition, concrete partition walls. Trust me, it's the most rewarding part of the construction. You'll see the effects immediately. You'll need to get hollow blocks from the shop. Buy 100 of them now. Okay. I was seeing if he got quieter the further you moved away. He, he does not. I don't know how he achieves that. Maybe we've got an earpiece in. Right. I completely ignored how many I needed. Uh, 30? 100? Fantastic. Awkward. It's time to pick up mortar. Okay. You can find it in the wheelbarrow. Trowel. Select trowel and pick up mortar from the wheelbarrow. Got it. Once collected, it remains on the trowel until the resource in the wheelbarrow is exhausted. That way you don't have to go back and forth. Oh, it does indeed. Look at that. Notes from the last demo, huh? Oh, I guess it didn't use to. Builder Simulator, we have a leveling system that allows you to build houses faster the more you build them. 
Right. Try it out by placing the first hollow block. Can I? The trowel to lay the mortar on the hollow block. Great. Got it. Now place the hollow block on it. There we go. Level up. I never thought someone would level up from the first hollow block. Now you've unlocked double hollow block placement. Is he speaking Give slower or is that me? Have I changed the speed of him? <laughs> I he I don't know. He sounds like he's speaking slower. Uh, what's the mini game? Can we do a mini game? Okay. Oh, nice. One. What do we do? Leveled up again. Yeah, because I'm that good. Oh yeah. Many hollow blocks. Are these like breeze blocks? They're an interesting construction. Scaffolding will be very helpful when working at heights. I guess these are strong, right? Select a scaffolding from the tool wheel. Okay. You can rotate it by clicking the right mouse button or left trigger. I feel like I've slowed him down. That, you can also move it very precisely. What have I done to Bill? What have I done to Bill? <laughs> what have I done? When I walked away, I messed him up. Can I just Good put it there? Work. Thanks. You can climb the ladder by clicking on it. How do I get rid of it? secret about layer 12. The 12th layer is the lintel layer. I have Never heard of it? No. Its task is to transfer the weight from the opening to the adjacent walls. Brilliant. Above every doors and windows, you need to place one. Oh, a lintel. By a lintel. lintel from the shop. Lintel. <laughs> Not a lentil. They're not known for their hey, structural... Hey, I'm getting rusty! Wow! Dismantle. Dis... Bill, turn off. <sighs> We're stuck with Bill. How many? Buy one lintel. Gotcha. Uh, one. Right. Thanks. It's time oh! To place it in the hologram. What was the point in building? Oh, I guess to show you how to build uh, the scaffolding, right? Can't I just do it from down here anyway? Two. Fabulous. There we go. Part of the walls is to set the ceiling when you reach the right height. Ceiling holograms will automatically appear when you fill in the blocks on the last layer. And this is the moment when you have to place the ceiling blocks. All right. Buy 20 ceiling blocks from the shop. 20. Remember that, guys. 20. Don't come up with any jokes, please. Some would say the sky's the limit. I've broken but for Bill. Us, it's ceiling blocks on each level. <laughs> Are you drunk, Bill? Enough dead jokes. A, a drunk Put jokes. The ceiling blocks in the hologram. It's like that meme, isn't it, with Will Riker, where they slow him down. Anyway, ceiling blocks. I guess this is what the scaffolding's for. <laughs> Get over there. I know I just did the sound effect and he actually does it, I think, the builder dude, when you jump. He does. <laughs> oh what brilliant. Type of construction are dogs good at? Oh, roofing. No. That doesn't make sense. Roofing? I don't get it. Guys, I don't get it. Don't get it. I don't know enough about dogs, apparently. Well, at least we can walk on these. Extraordinary! After your work, <laughs> dismantle your scaffolding with drill. With this way, <laughs> with when your house is built and beautiful, you can take a picture of it. With a drill. Come yes, on, Bill. Lazy. Cool. Um. Yes. With what drill. I don't get it the second time either, Bill. <laughs> I, might, I I don't know why I don't get it. What am I supposed to be doing? Dismantling this. I'm, oh we'll dear. The partition walls. Do we have to get See rid of you later. Can I? Oh, that's it. At least you didn't steal my mouse cursor. All right, guys. One more. We'll uh, 
We'll get it up and running. Come on, Bill. No intro. Welcome let's go. Back. No, let's go. Eager to learn more? Yes, go. <laughs> Today you will learn how to insert doors and windows. Waiting for it, Bill. Right it's here. Pretty cool and easy. Go. Follow me. No, follow me. Faster. Do you have another gear? Is he speaking in different speed? Every building needs a door to enter and windows to bring light into the house. Our game is no different. Remember from the previous stage when you inserted the lintels? You don't have to do it this time. But you need to know that they are the reason we can put in doors and windows. Let's start with doors. Buy one outside door. Buy one outside door. Right. Windows and doors. Buy one right. outside door. Got it. Select it from the inventory Have it. and look at the entrance of the house. I wish this is how the door is doors were position. fitted. Adjust it using the scroll bar. Uh, Hologram will turn green when it's done. Scroll bar? The spirit Button? level moves with the door and will show you the correct position when the door lights up Already green. put it in, Belt. It's in. Great job. Thank you. Now you have to screw in the I hinges. I can see the screws. Choose a drill and insert the necessary screws. Choose a drill. To be screwed in, always light up orange. How Imagine many drills do we have? I, even I don't use a screwdriver anymore. Well, actually, I do. These are not good for everything. Simply fill them in by clicking on the highlighted areas. Oh, oh the wedges in the door. Right. Okay. I feel like we're missing a few steps. Or is this just how doors do? Is that all of them? Now you know how to insert a door. Well, that's nice. And it, look at that. Hope it doesn't auto lock, Don't Bill. Worry about the phone. We'll talk it's alright. It we can get through the window. No, Amazing. we can't. Come. Let's move on to oh, windows. we can get in here. There, there we go. Two types of windows. So, hi, Bill. Any window under two meters on the planner is a standard home window. Likewise, any window over two meters is already a patio window. Brilliant. You dictate the terms on the planner and choose what size windows you want to insert. For the purposes of the tutorial, you will insert a single window. Buy one window from the shop. Buying one plain window. Okay, we've only got one nice. type of window. Now try inserting them just like a door. Right. Uh, same principle, same fun. Same fun? All right. Unnecessary? Well, I guess it's a bit of... Yeah, it adds to it, doesn't it? Like, it feels like you're doing now something. time to put in all the screws you need. I'm guessing they're in the inside? Yeah. I mean, that would be terrible if on the outside, wouldn't it? You just unscrew someone's window from the outside. Right, drill. Let's get these... All tied it up. There we go. I am Next pro step, at that now. Insert the wedges. Wedges insert for everyone. Simply clicking on the hologram. There we go. Support wedges are used to support and stabilize the window in the window opening. Oh, what was that? Did you see how the foam filled itself after the wedges oh, were inserted? Oh, that was what well, that was we about. We thought that doing it manually would be boring. Yeah. So we automated it. Thank you. Remember that every window requires a sill or threshold. Doing it now, Bill. Adjust it like Doing you it did now. with window but they're and in. door. Done it. Great. Look at the patio window next to you. You can see the difference. Yep, that's, that's a door. Everything for doors and windows. And a patio. Remember, window. You decide how Very you nice. want your house to look. See you in the next stage. Thank you, Bill. We are actually going to go back to the menu. There we go. I'm just going to go back into here and go into the planner. A maximum size. At the end of the tutorial, you get to see the planner where you can uh, make a basic house. Uh, I tried making my uh, childhood home where I grew up in. And that presented a few problems, but I kind of worked around it. So we're going to load it up if it's still here. Thank goodness for that. And uh, yes, load the save file. There it is. It was actually a semi-detached house uh, in Peterborough. 
uh, would have had another side like this. It's kind of to scale. I did measure it on Google Maps. And uh, yeah, I feel like it was missing a few options to be able to make as a true, uh, a true semi-detached. Um, I, I feel like these would have been bearing walls in the middle with the other house the other side. I guess we could get away with it being a a uh, partition wall. I don't know. I don't, I'm not going to build it all anyway. But it's all right, isn't it? That was the living room. Then you got the kitchen up there. There was a boiler here. Uh, this was the entrance hall up to the stairs. And then on the first floor, mine was the smallest of all the bedrooms. I was down here. This wasn't here, this sticky out bit either. Like I was in a little box. And in fact, the door would hit the bed if you weren't careful. And uh, yeah, here we go. That was a bathroom. I got the sizes a little off. It was probably a little bigger than that. Maybe. But guys, there's lots to do. I wanted to build this, but unfortunately, there is no... Uh, leave this. There is no sandbox mode just yet, which I'm assuming is where you go and build that. I couldn't figure out how to build it, but I did at least save it. Whether it translates into the full game, I don't know. If it does, we'll go and build my uh, two-story semi-detached house. Maybe I can figure out how to make it uh, the full with the neighbours on there as well. But uh, yeah, apart from Mr. Bill there, I thoroughly enjoyed that. He's not that bad, he just goes on a bit, doesn't he? A little bit too much for my liking. Anyway, you might love him. I mean, uh, I, I think Claptrap was uh, a little bit like Marmite as well. You either love him or you hate him. Thank you for watching, guys. Uh, we got there in the end. And until next time, take care.